Hello everybody, uh, if you watched my previous video under the control playlist for servo uh, system design using pole placement, uh, the first example I did was this one where uh, basically the system did not have uh, an integrator and uh, the control to follow a um, specific desired output or uh, input command you might call it R was u equals negative kx plus k1 times r where k1 was the first element of k and we assume that the output in that case was the first uh, of the states and the example we did was this one this a that b that c d was zero and we wanted to have the poles of the control system in these three locations and we solved for k and the value for K was uh, here, this uh, matrix 160, 54, and 11. So that K1 was 160, the one we wanted to multiply by R. Now, um, I decided to simulate the behavior of the system also with Simulink, instead of uh, writing it in M file and uh, using the step function. I decided to do it in Simulink. So you see here, I'm using a unit step function multiplying it by the first element in that k i'm also getting the state x so the input u is k1x minus kx k1r minus kx pass it to the state of space model and uh, here i can see the output versus also the desired input first when i try to do it i try to use the uh, block that is already available a state of space block which if you go under library and go under Simulink, under uh, basically continuous systems, you can see this uh, state space block. And uh, the problem is, as you can see here, this blocks accept U as input and gives you Y as the output. And although it's very convenient because you define all A, B, C, D in one place, and you might even give it non-zero initial condition, the problem is, this does not give you X. That is the big problem. By the way, here is where I told you, you see, this is the state space block. It's under continuous under Simulink. And the problem, as I said, is X. I need X because I need to multiply it by negative K. And if, I, if this block does not give me the output X, just give me Y, I cannot apply that control to it. So although this block looks very easy to use and convenient, unfortunately, as I found, it does not give you X. And it's uh, not always easy to get X out of Y because not all of the X's are in the Y. And if you want to do an observer to get them, well, that is just more work that you don't even want to do in this case. You don't want to have an observer in this case. It was just a simple full state feedback. So I had to make the state of space model that guy by myself. I have to uh, use blocks and it's not very hard to simulate these two equations in Simulink with a bunch of gains and integration. So here you see U comes in, it's multiplied by B and D, so it gives you B and D, B U and D U, and then uh, here Y you see is D U plus C X, and then here A times X plus B times U makes X dot, but how do you get x? You get x by integrating what? x dot. And here in this integration, you provide the initial condition for the state vector. Here we go with all zeros in this case, but we can change it if you want to. And uh, this integrator can act on uh, basically uh, several signals here. It does not need to be a, a scalar signal. It can be a vector signal. So I send the X out as one of the outputs and Y as the other output. You see, so here I'm making a customized version of that using a subsystem. So I brought the subsystem and uh, put everything in it. So to make it a little bit more uh, uh, concise and uh, less crowded, not bring all of those wires out. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you is if you want to, if you sometimes see like you're multiplying stuff together and it doesn't work and um, like it is giving you errors about what, about the um, dimensions of the vectors and so on, then uh, you might want to look at the dimensions of the signals, make sure they work. So if you look at each one of these ABCDs, I change them from what? 
the element wise, which is the default, I change them to matrix k times u. If you don't do that, you are going to have problems, okay? So let's say you forget to do that for A and leave it as default matrix element wise KU, okay? And maybe for C as well or for B, right? If I just change these or I forgot to modify them, uh, would you get some error, right? Let's see. So if I run this, let's see if I get an error. See, here we go. Invalid dimensions has been specified for input port one of block sum two. So you see now your blocks having problems like this. Okay, and uh, you have some problems and uh, you need to go back and fix those. But one thing that's typically Simulink does not show the dimensions of the signals on them. But if you want, you can always get them to what? Get them to show it to you. So you just need to go to the debug tab. And then there is this command called information overlay. And under the, the uh, information overlay, you can see here, you can see different properties of the signal. Here we go. And if you go down, you can see what? signal dimensions so you say hey show me the signal dimensions so now if you go ahead and run this right it should show you the dimensions of x y u and everything okay so let's go ahead and run it so this is the result as you expected and now you see here x is three here and if you go down okay so you see here, these are the dimensions, right? You can see that this is three. And then uh, for scalar Y, I guess it does not show that it is just one, but uh, you clearly see that it shows the dimensions that are uh, bigger than one, I would say. Let's just double check it one more time. Yeah, clearly it is showing here. And we can ask for other things too, like give me the range of the data or anything else, right? If there are non-scalar signals, probably uh, you can also show them. You see here, so these uh, black uh, old lines, I would say, these are the non-scalar signals. So you can mark them like that. So uh, hopefully this video was useful to you. I showed you in Simulink how to make that uh, servo design using pole placement for the systems without an integrator, this uh, simple control design, and uh, showed you how to uh, remedy the case that, the case of not showing the X or not sending out the X for a status space block, you do it yourself. And also under debug, we have seen this information overlay, which is a useful uh, command or button in uh, Simulink. So hopefully it was useful to you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.